Okay, so it says, uh, let me read the question first. It says some resistance register uh, with uh, uh, some capacitance, capacitor, and uh, a voltage source we not are in series. Let me draw the picture so that I don't confuse myself. So I have a register, capacitor, and battery. Um, I guess the direction doesn't really matter for the answers. All right, so it asks, um, Oh, it, I guess it says uncharged capacitor. That is important. So it says, what is the initial current? Uh, so you can imagine, okay, so there's a switch of a sort and you are um, asking questions for, okay, at time equals zero, I'm gonna close the switch and what's happening there? Um, A asks for the initial current. And uh, when you see something like initial or at time equals zero, I want you to first see if there's a quick um, way to answer it by, um, by paying attention to the details of the um, circuit. And here, one thing, um, so let me write down the voltage and the dynamical quantity relationship for um, both my circuit elements, the register and the capacitor. So for register, the expression for voltage across the register is current times resistance. Simple enough, that's Ohm's law. For capacitor, the voltage across the, the capacitance is um, given by the definition of, uh, so across capacitor, is given by the definition of capacitance. Um, the definition of capacitance says um, capacitance is Q over V. So if you're solving for V, you get voltage across a capacitor is amount of charge stored divided by C. So this is where it's important that it says uncharged capacitor. I mean, that is what you would assume if we weren't told that, but it's good to have it in writing. So when you have an uncharged capacitor where Q is equal to zero, that tells you right away that the voltage difference here is equal to zero. And it's the, for the purpose of A, where um, time is equal to zero. So that actually gives you the answer pretty quickly. Whatever voltage difference you have out of the battery, all of that is going to be on the, um, on the register. So I can calculate the current through the register using this expression. Uh, current through the register is, well, uh, is equal to V over R, where uh, you should understand what this symbol stands for. V stands for this, uh, um, this battery voltage. And, um, and, and R stands for the, the resistance, sorry. I, let me <laughs> compose myself. Um, and, and R stands for the resistance of this register here. So it actually turns out to be a very simple circuit. This capacitor, you can ignore it. It's basically a short. The voltage across it is zero. So when you close the switch, you basically have the current that would have flowed through the um, flow through your register. So in each, so you know, you just write it down. So you uh, you are given the voltage of the battery, so this should be initial current. It should be voltage of the battery divided by the um, divided by um, divided by the resistor, and that's it. <laughs> um, uh, watch the units; it's uh, asking in milliamperes, and the answer you get here will be amperes. So multiply it by thousand. Um, so here, I think you can see the RC constant fairly easily just uh, um, in the diagram. And I would uh, kind of just leave it there uh, for the purpose of this question. This is the resistance, uh, capacitance, I guess I haven't written it down. So the, there's a capacitance across the capacitor. Um, they are in fact both the basic SI units. So you simply do um, um, the resistance times capacitance and 
that'll give you the RC time constant. Oh, you are trusting that the, the unit will work out because the resistance is in ohm. So for the capacitance, you should work out mu separately, um, you know, 10 to the power of minus six. You should uh, make sure that's there. And in terms of the actual unit, it's uh, the farad. So somehow ohm times the farad is in, must have been seconds. And you should convert your answer to milliseconds. So, so that's our uh, time constant. And I think, uh, um, and I think that this is where you kind of to get a little bit into the um, mathematics of what RC stands for. And I guess this is where, um, depending on what you feel more comfortable with, looking up textbook is fine. As in, you want to figure out the current through the circuit after one time constant. And, uh, that, and that's what tells me that this is going to be a bit of a challenge because it's not an asymptotic behavior where um, where you can simplify things and it's not like A where it's a transient behavior. So uh, so you are looking for uh, current through this uh, RC circuit. So what I would recommend for this question is, well, go to the textbook. In fact, I'm pretty sure I'm linking to the textbook section in the hint. And yeah, for the derivation and discussion of relevant formulas. So let me copy down the few formulas that I'm gonna find useful. One is the solution for the amount of charge on the capacitor. So I'm going to need this. Let me just uh, make a copy of it. And I'm going to need, um, because it's in terms of tau and I need to know what tau the time constant is. I mean, I can also remember it, but um, this is what I need. And I think, uh, let's see if the textbook has, um, why is it not? Oh, okay. Um, let's see if the textbook has an expression for Q. Ah, there it is. Yeah. So he, he, it says uh, the charge is equal to of the maximum charge. Oh, and yeah, and it has that too, but uh, let me. Well, okay, I guess if you want to skip all that, you can technically just uh, um, use this. So, so that is definitely available. I'm not gonna say you can't do that, <laughs> but let me uh, just uh, take this and write those out and basically rewrite this on one note. So, so uh, that's, uh, um, so those are the expressions that you need. And uh, you should uh, watch the lecture, read the textbook, Make sure you understand the derivation. This is something that you can understand. So one of the expressions you will need is the amount of charge on the uh, on the capacitor as a function of time, because uh, it's asking for after one time constant. And the other expression you will need, you will need, uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, so because the, um, because the expression here is in terms of tau, time constant, um, I guess uh, uh, I can use it, but it looks like uh, one way I can avoid using it is I can actually focus on this expression. Then I don't, um, I mean, I do want to know what one time constant is. That's gonna be that. But if I just use this expression, then it's all good. And in fact, oh, this I actually already, um, I think I was copying that over here, but I don't think I need it. Yeah, so it's, uh, um, yeah, so let me just, uh, yeah, so this is one of those cases where um, this, uh, um, one of the earlier expression is, act that's actually what you want. So, um, so you have the amount of charge on the capacitor and the way to get current from uh, current through a capacitor is to take the derivative of that expression uh, with respect to time. So when I do that, uh, the coefficient aside, let me rewrite this uh, E as uh, our symbol for voltage. So C times voltage times, um, this is constant, so it's gonna be zero. 
minus, this is exponential, so it's going to be so, e to the minus t over rc, and you have to remember to use chain rule to get the into, uh, uh, derivative of the inside. So that's going to give you um, minus one over rc, derivative of minus t over rc with the respect to t. So when you look at that, you see something's canceling out, zero goes away, minus signs cancel out, uh, C cancels out. So you end up with the um, amount of current. Um, yeah, amount of maximum current, um, V naught over R, and um, because it says one time constant, um, you will have to um, write down this e to the minus t over rc, and imagine writing down t is equal to rc. And when you do that, rc over rc cancels out. So it's e to the power of minus one. So the, this whole thing simplifies down to v naught over Euler's number times r. That, that's it, that's the current. When you plug in those numbers, Get an answer that's going to be in amperes. Uh, make sure you watch the unit. And uh, voltage on the capacitor after one time constant is I can actually go back to go back to this expression here, and I'm going to use the definition of capacitance, which I uh, wrote down here. So I have V is equal to Q over C. So um, so. Plugging Q for the place of Q, then what you end up with the V is equal to all of this um, divided by C. So C's cancel out. So again, I'm gonna write down V naught for that E, V naught times one minus E to the minus T over RC. So um, so this one you know looks slightly more complicated. When you plug in T is equal to RC, you should simplify down to V naught times uh, one, so that one is still there, minus e raised to the power of minus one, or one over e. So uh, at this point, plug in numbers. So um, three naught times one minus one over e. Uh, 